हाँ कर दू ना आपको आवाज सही आ रही है ठीक 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 है ठीक है हम शुरू कर देते हैं assalam everyone and again here now talking to uh, today the topic is that which has turned everyone upside down it has changed the whole paradigm of uh, everything that's why i am on this side of computer talk to you not in the uh, face to face which i the plans but but continuing thing uh, that's the best part of it so today's topic is coronavirus will this structure on the structure pathogenesis uh, and the treatment and different type of uh, vaccination that is available for this deadly disease. so it all started here in the end of this pandemic was china you can see here this is china. and in hubei uh, province china wuhan city this disease started the in the wet market then rapidly engulfed the entire world and by the end of march there were so many countries that were involved and see how this disease uh, took its toll so before uh, going into the details of the structure of this work i would like to mention dr lee lam an ophthalmologist by profession and eye specialist uh, he was the whistle for our disease and put it to the authorities that some atypical type of pneumonia is uh spreading very uh, rapidly but at that time no one was ready to accept it and uh, uh, while treating the patients he got coronavirus and died at the age of young age of 30 died because of so one must remember the person who reported this one and now you see this was the uh, which was there in our ceo uh, website for international uh, the patients all over the world that are there and the deaths you can see that it is still counting it's still going on so much people are getting involved Uh, because we are not pro- taking proper care precaution not taking so the number is still counting so this is the number of yesterday night 841606 confirmed this is in pakistan and 84000 and uh, 408 uh, this is and this is the bit of different patients which are there in different provinces of pakistan so uh, talking about corona virus actually is a large family of common viruses and they usually cause a common cold in humans and animals and the, this virus is in this virus is in more Uh, responsible for a quarter of cases, like quarter of the cases of common cold uh, due to this coronavirus, and it is second to rhinovirus. First or number one rhinovirus after that 
But the specificity of this virus is that it is present in humans as well as in animals. Both, both have this uh, virus. And cases of cold are due to coronavirus. So what is the disease called and what is the name of the virus? We should be clear about that. So COVID-19 or coronavirus disease 19 is a disease, while severe acute respiratory syndrome COVID-2 is the name of the virus. Severe acute respiratory syndrome COVID-2 and why we are calling SAR or SARS-2 because similar disease was uh, erupted in 2002 and it also started from China, then took a, a picture of pandemic. So there are seven known corona. There are many corona, uh, uh, seven important seven known coronaviruses. And uh, for them, SARS, it caused the pandemic in 2002, it comes in outbreaks and pandemics 10 years after a day they come and uh, cause uh, involve uh, multiple countries and many people around and cause this disease. So in 2002 SARS first report from China and then Singapore and then in the surrounding countries. And then MERS Middle Eastern Respiratory Virus. Uh, it was in 2002 after years, after a decade. And now we have completed a decade and we are under the spell of this SARS-CoV-2 2019. And calling it 2019 or 19 because it was first reported in the year of 2019. So about the shape and uh, why it's called COVID, because uh, you see, uh, it has got spikes all around its surface, which is very important in causing disease and got a specificity for certain receptors. Uh, so they, it had a spike and due to these spikes, it gives a crown shape to the virus. And crown is Latin word, uh, Latin word for crown is corona. Corona also means hello. And in Spanish, the floral wreath which is kept on uh, uh, like, uh, baskets is also known as corona. So it's a segmented single strand positive polarity on the genome envelope and it has got a helical nucleocap. Coronavirus is known to evolve within us. After the center of the disease is usually a bat. From the bat, it is accidentally gains entry into some intermediate host. In SARS, is, which erupted in 2002, intermediate hosts were uh, palm civets, which is uh, a cat like animal, and coon dogs. Intermediate hosts like raccoon dogs. This is a raccoon. This is a picture which you uh, uh, watched just now is a coon dog. And in MERS, or Middle Eastern uh, respiratory virus, the intermediate host was camel, okay? And now for COVID-19, the intermediate host is pangolin. Pangolin is a small animal having scales on the body. And it is thought that the scaly skin has a healing uh, property. So it is illegally transported uh, all over the world and is a reason maybe 
to spread the disease so quickly because of this pangolin. What happens is that uh, these bats, uh, they keep themselves cool. So how they are keeping themselves cool? They are by splattering the saliva, they, they splatter the saliva on their wings and then they cool themselves. So they are flying, the saliva gets uh, spread to other animals. And these accident animals, the bulldog, the turtle, or pangolin, and in that pangolin or a coon dog or animal, the virus for some time until they come to contact with human beings and the virus is transmitted to them. So here, what I have explained it, that this disease has got a primary host, a secondary host, and a tertiary host. Primary host or natural um, reservoir of infection is these can be of different varieties, can be uh, like uh, Egyptian tomb bat or it can be horseshoe bat, uh, different types of species of uh, bats are all that get coronavirus. Then these transmit the disease to uh, cat or palm cat and the or uh, cam and or pattern, and then this virus is transmitted to human being. So SARS, the outbreak occurred in 2002 in China, and double natural was too bad, and intermediates were marked palms like this, and total cases were 8,422, and death and total fatality rate was 10.9. So how do we know the, uh, or how do we come to know that this is fatality? So fatality rate is the uh, uh, total deaths upon the total number of affected deaths into and you get the total, total fat rate, okay? And uh, sometimes it is also explained as the uh, heart is the measure to which you know that how in fact some disease is. So it was, we, we have heard this and I have shown you pangolin because some of you may not be acquainted with kind of animal. Okay, so come towards the structure. What is special thing about it is the structure, how it gets entry to our body. There are series of protein spikes on the surface, uh, which has a crown, and they are known as spike protein, or S, and then M, or membrane protein. They are abundant in uh, among and M or new protein E is for envelope protein. So S, M, N, and E you have to remember, okay? S is for spike, response for allowing virus to attach with the membrane of the cell. The thing is that why it's causing some specific symptoms in the lung or respiratory system? So, uh, the explanation for that is that this virus has special affinity to ACE2 receptor or angiotensin converting enzyme type 2. The, these receptors are present on the epithelial lining of the lung. And this virus, when it gains entry through the trachea, through bronchi, through bronchi, and alveoli, goes to the uh, respiratory epithelium, finds this ACE2 receptor with God as a lock. This is part, acts as a key to this lock. 
gains entry. It's so simple or a straightforward mechanism. There are certain protein which are also there and which are also helping infusion and pathogenesis. The leaf, just to explain it to you, that these ACE receptors are present in respiratory epithelium and spike groups, they join or fuse with that, fuse with the receptor, gain entry to the respiratory epithelium, decoat or uh, they remove coat or outer layer from the cells, and the RN entry, and then the cellular machinery is taken up by the virus. Okay. So to explain more, you can see these are uh, these uh, sp spike type uh, proteins which are present there, spike protein or S protein. And then E or envelope protein. And these blue color uh, rods, which you can see, is membrane protein. And it is RNA. Okay. So the function of the membrane protein is a central organizer of COVID assembly or COVID uh, virus assembly. And it's the shape of the envelope. And E protein interacts with M to form viral envelope. And spike protein is critical for binding the whole cell to facilitate the entry whole cell. And nucleoprotein is inside, and you know when it begins entry and control the cell mechanism, then uh, it stimulates cell or directs the cell to make more copies, transcribe, translate, and make more copies of themselves until the cell is full of viral particles. So uh, can you tell me how does this virus gain entry into the host? Please chat to Jawab Vijay. Isn't bad the intermediate group of COVID-19? It was postulated respiratory droplets. Or there are specific, okay, ye to pata hi na, har ek ko pata hai, ye to sari dunya ko pata chal ke respiratory droplets se pata hai. Ye ke hai hu, ke jab ek dafa ko COVID-19 andar pohunch gaya, to wo cell ke andar kaise jata hai? Puch rahe. After it has joined with ACE2 receptor, how, what is the of entry of the virus into the cell? Okay. Take So though there are two methods by direct entry, by binding receptor and by endocytosis. Taking membrane of the cell along with it form a vacuum type thing and gains entry into the cell. And here they bind with the ACE receptor uh, by the parts S1 and S2. S1 has got a receptor binding domain or RB. And uh, it has S2, which fuses the viral cell brain, the whole cell membrane, and this RNA is in, inside the cell. This I was asking. Oh, ACE2 receptors are present. Where are these receptors are present? They are present in lung, heart, kidney, and intestine. COVID-2 has got 20% more FN than SARS. And then maybe this is the reason why this action is spreading so quickly. Okay. And spike has two subunits. I have already told you S1 and S2. S1 is a floral type of thing. Like, like a flora. 
जैसे कली होती है कि भी फ्लावर इज लाइक दैट एस वन इज जस्ट लाइक दैट इट हैज गॉट आर बी आर बी की क्या मैंने आपको बताया बी डी क्या है प्लीज चैट पे जवाब दीजिए आर बी डी क्या होती है री गुड इनका नाम नहीं आ रहा नहीं है रिसेप्टर बाइंडिंग बाइंडिंग वेरी गुड तो दिस इज रिसेप्टर बाइंडिंग अटैच टू एज रिसेप्टर द एस टू इज हियर 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 दिस इज दिस इज एस टू दिस इज एस वन एंड दिस इज एस टू S2 helps the viral cell to fuse with the uh, host cell membrane. Okay, and by doing S1, S2, and everything, the patient were able to treat the disease best possible and design vaccines for the treatment of the disease. Okay, so again. ने जो टेढ़ी मेढ़ी सी तस्वीर बनाई वो कुछ इस तरह से है आरबीडी और बाइंडिंग इट्स फ्यूज विद टू रिसेप्टर एंड दिस इज ह्यूमन सेल दिस पार्ट ह्यूमन सेल दिस इज वायरस एंड दिस वी आर वाचिंग अंडर लाइक मोर रेजोल्यूशन एंड मोर पावर यू कैन सी इट हैज गॉट एस टू हियर somewhere in this of this spike and this is the flora pattern and thing which i want to explain uh, in part or in the beginning this action was a spreading this uh, patterns were somewhat close uh, but now which were variants we are de detecting they are more open. so when it is more open it is more dangerous and more infective but i don't have the proper description for that uh, virologist were telling uh, that now they are more open more dangerous and in the beginning these uh, ids were like closed flower so why it is important to wash your hands with soap sara tv pe chal raha hai phone se jata hai sab kuch baar baar bol rahe hain wash your hands wash your hands why they saying like that please chat ab bhi ji ja nahi hai abhi tak puri tarah ओके okay. कोई लोग जाग गए हैं और जवाब दिए कि ये बिकॉज़ दिस वायरस हैज गॉट अ व्हिच इज ड्राइव फ्रॉम आवर सेलुलर मेम्ब्रेन एंड व्हिच इज लिपिड इन नेचर दिस लिपिड लेयर विल बी डिसइंटीग्रेटेड व्हेन यू विल वॉश योर हैंड्स रिपीटेडली सो वॉश योर हैंड्स इफ यू हैव कम इनटू कांटेक्ट गॉट विद दिस वायरस then you will wash it okay the layer will disintegrate and the virus won't be able to survive it why that's why they are saying please wash your hands for 20 seconds so membrane protein abundant on the virus surface the shape of the virus channel organizer of virus assembly and in with the other structural protein e protein is smallest of all major proteins okay and it is assembly phase of the virus m and e protein are critical in turning the host cell into workshops they turn the our whole cell into phase or workshop where viral and host make new viral particles while the envelope is derived from the host cell and is effective nucleocapsid 
the genetic share of the virus with the envelope and nuclear protein is single ended just think of a necklace which is made up of beads okay so uh, thread in that necklace is rna and nucleocapsid is uh, the beads which are there okay just to simplify an idea what they are i was giving this example so uh, i have shown you like more uh, to explain it more you can see this is necklace with the beads so this thread is i this uh, beaded area is the capsid and here more uh, pretty way you can see the beads is are the capsid and rna inside them is the thread deposition what is adsorbed to cell by a surface spikes and the cytoplasm where it is uncoated the positive strand is translated in two large peptides they are self cleaved by virus encoded is these polypeptide aggregate to form a polymerase that replicates the genome the messenger rna is synthesized and is translated to structural proteins this assembles and this is envelope from the endoplasm please understand that cell has many things but we are focusing on two three things endoplasmic reticulum and the golden apparatus and the ribosome they are crucial in the replication of corona here you can see the virus it is entry binding with the a2 receptor or sensing converting a2 receptor it is binding along with many supportive chemical agents this is happening okay so and then when it enters gets out of the coat this coat and this uh, rna it is read by the ribosome and it is translation and rna replication okay and along with this thing big polyproteins are also made these proteins are further degraded into different virus particles they all aggregate here in the endoplasmic reticulum all these things they are sent to golgi apparatus here they are nicely packaged and uh, take up the membrane host cell membrane and then exo exocyto okay so that's process that going in the application this virus so this is the same thing which we have uh, elaborated and you can see this genomic rna and ribosomes and here is the endoplasmic reticulum and viral dependent are liberate it synthesizes more rna this is happening as that this virus when enters takes up the machinery and shut down the normal mechanisms going on inside the cell and ask the cell to make this cis that means making more copies of it and then package them in the golgi apparatus and they, they come out so this we will in a short video because it's a very complicated process i have to show you a, a small one minute video so that you can better in this campus
So this is into contact with a protein. Okay, with other parts. They cut the spike protein and fusion. Coating is cut off and arbutus, this penny gains and into the cell. Okay. Goes into inside the ribosomes. Viral protein is made. And this along with the viral proteins, other structural proteins also made. Go into the gorgeous all the other structural proteins will go there in the uh, Golgi apparatus, pick up the whole cell membrane and they are exocytosed until all the cell is full of viruses. And then the body asks the cell to destroy itself or apoptosis occurs. See how it is spreading and infecting cells. It was simple, simplest way to explain. It. Again, to our lecture again. This is the link of the video. So if you want to see what again, you can take a, a screenshot of it and then at your own convenience. Okay. So where does the repetition of the virus? Please chat with DJ. Beta Mene uh, link you can watch it uh, at your own time. Say, uh, I'm sorry, Chap, the police have a video. Okay. Replication, please persist. Your chat, I'm watching. In the whole cell, whole cell machine. Okay. Using the cell ribosome and Golgi in the cytosome. Which thing is that cell may cytoplasm replicate in the nucleus? Just tell me. Cytoplasm. Why cytoplasm? Somebody is answering. Result because ribosomes are there. Very good. So the replication of corona is taking place in the cytoplasm of the cell. Okay. Transmitted. It is transmitted through respiratory aerosol, through speaking, singing, and coughing. And it has got as it is, it has declared pandemic it has got a worldwide distribution everyone is in war. every country is in war. SARS virus started in China in 2002 and 8,300 cases were reported 705 deaths were so it had a fatality rate of 9%. In 2012 a new human coronavirus caused an outbreak series and fatal Ammonia in Saudi Arabia and other countries in the region, Middle Eastern or Mars. And here the fatality rate, uh, fatality rate or fatality rate 35 percent. There were 1,879 cases and uh, 35 percent fatality rate. Pathogenesis, pathogenesis 
Russian is in the causal cell of respiratory epithelium. 50% of the cases are asymptomatic. Pneumonia causes caused by SARS is characterized by diffuse edema resulting in hypoxia. So here I want to tell you that mostly this is asymptomatic people uh, which uh, accidentally uh, get this infection. They recover quickly. They don't show any obvious uh, sign and symptom of the disease. While uh, people are even more, they are of poor age, like and above, or having comorbidities along with it, as it is common as you, as the advances, the other diseases also come into play, like tension, like uh, asthma or smoking or anything else, uh, which is compromising your lung function or diabetes, if a uh, person is having, then the chances of uh, getting the disease and getting uh, like in a worse form, when these morbid conditions are present, while in people, uh, symptoms are uh, less significant. Uh, and why this, this is happening? Happen that there is inflammation. So uh, inflammatory in the lung, it gives the sing signals to the body that, hello, I'm in a problem. So please send some help. So what happens that fills, messages, they come to play and uh, the, uh, the cap is around the alveoli, uh, they become leaky. So this fluid accumulation and these neutrophils and macrophages, they release different cytokines. There is uh, interleukin 1, interleukin 6, interleukin 8, and necrosis alpha. All of these cytokines, they worsen the condition. And sometimes the condition is uh, so like aggravated, it leads to a cytokine storm. It, it gives the body harm rather than uh, benefit. So this cytokine storm is observed in corona patients, some patients it has. So this uh, ending of uh, to the uh, regulation of balance that is edema in the rest. In free to date around the alveoli compromises the uh, oxygen perfusion of the lung. That's why this uh, person is developing hypoxia, hypoxia. Okay. So what will be the clinical in such a case, there will be features just like when the disease is mild, it will just like a, a cold or fever. there will be any rose, scratchy throat, and fever. But as uh, this, uh, uh, sometimes in, when the age is like uh, the person is of age uh, and it has got certain comorbid conditions, so the disease is in its uh, moderate or severe form. Fever, the chills, uh, sometimes there is loss of smell and taste also in this disease. And uh, there is uh, the oxygen perfusion of that patient, it increases below 20%. So we should ring the bell and we should take that into hospital because then the support cannot be given. In uh, like uh, mild cases or young persons, when the oxygen situation is not much compromised, we keep that patient home and uh, quarantine, isolate that. So, what are the diagnostic tools that we use uh, in uh, cases where? Uh, is uh, suspected. First of all, RT PCR is the gold standard. Be done, and we can uh, uh, see the 
positive or not. And after that, if the condition uh, is happening or to see prognosis, a particular patient will go chest x or we uh, do the CT test and then uh, other tests are also done uh, to see the leukopenia or lymphocytopenia, thrombocytopenia, all of these conditions decreased level in the WBC or platelets is seen. Uh, and uh, the patient is recovering from the disease uh, by doing the antibodies we see mention of that. So X-ray check, you will see bilateral hazel uh, white markings uh, in the chest X-ray, which are shown here also, or ground surfaces, bilateral uh, hazel, uh, ground glass infection, inflammation, and if it's seen after five or three, five weeks, then it will be raised by fibrosis. So these lines are due to fibrosis line. And this is uh, the CT, which will be showing the, uh, the granular surface along with it. The crazy payment pattern you see in the garden we place different types of stones uh, for for walking in the middle of the garden. We pave that uh, place walking. So this should be here in the uh, lung. See the crazy pavement pattern, which is characteristic of coronavirus. Men will depend upon the severity of the system, age of the patient, uh, and uh, what are comorbid conditions there, there's hypertension, blood pressure, any condition is present, and we check the uh, PO2 by pulse oximeter before going to the hospital, and after that. Uh, you can see on the monitors. So, how can we prevent uh, such a condition? Everybody knows, but I'm repeating that that wash, we wash our hands, we have to use mask, and we have to avoid our zone. What T zone? T zone, our eyes and mouth is T zone. So we are touching something and we have to sanitize it to avoid spreading the infection and getting the infection. Staying home and of course we cannot shake hands, sanitize frequently. We have to keep distance. So these are preventive measures can be taken. Now come towards the vaccination. What are the vaccinations that are available for the disease? And uh, what are the vaccines that are used in Pakistan? So most, there are so many that are in the market and you can see on the net, there are so many vaccines available. Uh, one of them is um, the country where they are is shown by a tag here. So uh, by United Kingdom or UK has uh, made Oxford or Astra vaccine it is usual vector or genetically modified virus and it comes in uh, two doses and uh, how effective it is it is two to nine percent effective and the cost is three to four dollars the model Pfizer they are made in America and uh, this uh, made the of some other country also uh, they are using RN or part of this. And they are 95% effective. And their cost is $25. And then is Sputnik, which is made in Russia, Soviet Union, uh, the previously known as Soviet Union. They are using the viral. It, it is available in two doses. Uh, and it's 90% 
92 percent active. Other than that is and Johnson is um, in single dose, but here in Pakistan uh, using uh, Sinovac, Sinovac. There is one dosage um, Chinese is well. I don't remember that vaccine. Plus, Sput is also available, uh, paying some amount of money to get the vaccine from private hospitals. Uh, on government government sector only form uh, was available, and I was also vaccinated. So i giving the interval of 21 days. Uh, they have got different levels of, uh, like 21 to 28 days between given. Uh, but they were not taken or they were not bought because of their temperature requirement. Minus 70, minus 70, it need any, like, it needs while they require many degrees, which is uh, hard in countries like ours, which is underdeveloped, we can get these vaccines. So how vaccines work? They will do viral vaccine, whole or protein supplement. What is viral vector? Use harmless viral, which is altered to in part of COVID-19. Like influenza, this is um, uh, some of the coronavirus is put into it, then injected to trigger uh, the immune response or information. And RNA, RNA based vaccines, a, a, a cells to COVID 19 spike, which is which triggers an immune response. The virus and protein unit, they also. The immune response is the antibody formation. So at the end of the day, we require the formation of antibody against the spike. So please uh, uh, take the picture of this, uh, references. So we used making like I hope you found it uh, interesting about uh, medical biology edition 15 uh, chapter 35 just let me confirm it let me confirm it and i'll tell you chapter 38 page number 306 and 307 so any questions if you have please any question i'm out my time. Some telling me, thank you. Can sign on scene. Brazilian strains reported, which are not vaccine effective. What about that? Okay, man, can we type surgical mask is the best. And and unless if you are using, this is asking, okay, uh, the surgical mask is the best. If uh, you think that is not enough, you can use double mask. I'm using double mask. But if you are working in uh, uh, like what you have posting in it, so please then use N95 mask gloves all the time when you are handling the patients. Okay, how long do you think the outbreak is good? Nobody can. Only. I'm sorry, I can't how it's doing. It's in our hands. I would like to say that it is in our hands to wash our hands and distance, keep yourself safe. Okay, signing out. Thank you. Thank you. It was nice, though I can't see your face. Okay, bye.